It's common to use superscript or subscript for mathematical equations or chemical formulas. You can apply superscript or subscript formatting in a variety of ways, but I bet you stopped by this video to see the shortcut. So let's start with that. To apply superscript or subscript using a keyboard shortcut, First, select the character you want to apply the superscript or subscript to. In this case, we want to do superscript. I'm going to select the 2 in this mathematical equation, and on my keyboard, Control, Shift, and Plus. And I will do that for each of the characters that I want to apply the superscript to. If I want to reverse this, then I simply select the superscript and do the same thing to reverse it. Control, Shift, Plus. To apply subscript, it's Control and the equal sign. So in H2O, I need my 2 to be subscript. Select the 2, Control, and the equal. To reverse it, the same thing. That's it. But let's review the other ways to apply the superscript or subscript. On the Ribbons Home tab in the font grouping, there are commands for superscript and subscript. First, select the character you want to apply the superscript or subscript to. So in our mathematical equation again, I'm going to select the two, and then I'm going to choose superscript. To reverse it, you simply select the character and click on the command again. If I want to apply subscript in H2O, I select the 2 and click on the subscript command. You can also use the font dialog box to quickly format your text as subscript or superscript. Again, select the character that you want to apply the superscript or subscript to. You can press Ctrl D to open up the font dialog box or you can also click on the Font Launcher on the Home tab. The Font dialog box will appear with the Font tab active. In the Effects group, click to select the subscript or superscript. Then click OK. Inserting subscript or superscript symbols in Word. This method doesn't involve formatting text as subscript, as in the previous methods, you are actually inserting a symbol into your document. So you're going to place your insertion pointer at the location you want to insert the symbol. Click on the Insert tab, Symbol, More Symbols. Make sure in your font grouping you do have normal text. If it comes up with something different, just go ahead and click the drop down arrow and scroll to the top to normal text. Now the subset most likely will not just automatically have superscript or subscript. So again, click the drop down arrow and scroll until you find superscript and subscripts. Now notice you do not have all of the selections that you would need. For H2O, I do have a subscript of two. Click on insert and I'm going to close the symbol dialog box and notice that I have inserted a symbol for H2O. There you go. Four different ways to apply the subscript or superscript. Depending on what you're doing, each method is easy to use. It's always good to know more than one way to do something. Hey, thanks for coming by and watching my video today. And I'd really like it if you subscribe to my channel. You know, if there's a video that you would like to see me make, just let me know in the comments below. I'm always looking for ideas. All right, and be sure to check out some of the other videos I have. I think you'll find them helpful. Okay, I'll see you in that video.